So here we are, we're at the Hume Community Gardens and I was just about to go in, check it out, see if we can find Stefan and George, do a little interview, check out some of the music and uh, see what it's all about. Hi, man. Hello, I should be on the guest list. Hello. Pardon, yeah. you should be on guest list. What's your name? Craig Winterburn. Lovely. Um, that's a yellow piece. You alright? Okay, yeah. Attached. There you go. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. What do you know about the Green Island Festival? Tell me anything about it. I, I came two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a hunter. Yeah. A hunter. And now I'm volunteering because I couldn't afford it. So. Oh, bless, oh, bless. Right. I'll It's like within human, it's part of like the Nair yeah, and like Kim's. Secret, it's like a haven. secret getaway, isn't it? It's like it a haven. Totally or just to have Green Island Festival, which is like pretty eco-friendly and like community-based to come and bring right. such a beautiful vibe into such a beautiful community garden. You know, you've got yeah, a lot of volunteers urban, and whatnot, so. Urban Oasis. Yeah, yeah, Urban Oasis. I'm not performing, actually. I'm, I'm here as a punter. I'm here as a punter. Um, 
It's performing last year, this year. I'm literally just here to appreciate all the music and it's, it's nice to be on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, how are we doing? Good, yeah, thanks. Good, yeah. Yeah, good. We're at the Green Island Festival in the new community gardens and I've just met this lovely couple, Green Island Festival. What brings yeah. you here today? I found it on Facebook and thought it looked really cool. Just booked you a ticket, saw it was dog friendly and here we are today. And it's really cool. What, do you know about the, the gardens and anything? I didn't know much. Yeah, not much to be fair. You know, it's quite anything, anything goes really, doesn't it? It's good. And just the fact they've got BBC introducing stage is really yeah. good as well. It's really good. Yeah, not come to see anybody in particular, just come to have a, a jolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, beers and food in the sunshine in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. What brings you in, mate? Eh? I'm working at the Midori stall. I'm front of house. Front of house. Best gyozas in Manchester, possibly the UK. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's really good. Honey said you come here on the side. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. This is Midori. This is the namesake of the well, look, I've just bumped into a couple of mates and uh, one a dog walker and one a fellow sort of events organiser. Lizzy, that's Nick. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut that a bit, don't we? <laughs> what, what, are we doing here? what are we doing here then? We're at Green Island Festival. We're part of the waste management team. People aren't throwing away that much litter right now. Um, so, yeah, the Hume Garden Centre, it's been a hub round Hume and Moss Side area for communities for a number of years. Yeah, I don't really know much about Green Island, but I know the organiser and I know they're very much in tune with keeping that community spirit and environmental tinge to to their events. So yeah, no, I've got to be a part of it. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and showcasing local talent and things. I think the yeah. idea is that it stays local. Like Cafe Sorrel is the resident cafe in the garden centre and they're open doing food and they're open most days of the week, I think doing food as well so that's kind of keeping in encompassing with local business yeah Thanks. Hi, so, cheers, Hi, uh, so here's george george hello there tell us a little bit about uh, green island well now. my name's george hey and i'm the co-director founder of green island festival this is our third year this year um i don't know the idea just popped into my head and you know what i, I yeah i just inquired asked some questions and then everybody i asked just said yeah and was up for it so it kind of gave me confidence to to go ahead and do it and uh and yeah we went for it like you must be buzzing because it's really busy today and oh, it's man. grown massive really hasn't it in a short space of time yeah man like i mean it, it yeah it gives me confidence that we're doing something that's all right you know what i mean but i've got a lot of thinking to do really on where i want to take it because i do love doing it here at the garden center it's like the perfect site it makes it in so many ways right yeah, brilliant. Well, long may it blossom man uh, I wish you every success with, with, with the project. I think it's fantastic. Thank you, man. I mean, no, it wouldn't be wouldn't be what it is for people like yourself, man. Like, big up Craig. Craig helps us out massively, man. Okay, fantastic. Nice yeah. Right, I'm here with Clarkson. I've just bumped into him and I've badgered him into giving me an interview. Clarkson, what are you doing here, mate? Uh, just working at the minute, yeah. Um, carrying heavy boxes. Uh, yeah, something. Some Seven Brothers beer, you know. Uh, what do you know about the Green Island Festival? And so, yeah, there is. I think the thing that works about this so well is that it's in Hume. Hume's got a really good community. Hume's got a very good. Uh, uh, so everybody here knows each other, and it feels like everybody only lives around the corner or not too far. So yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for your time, mate. No, no worries. Anytime, yeah, yeah, yeah. anytime. I'm glad I could help in some sort of way. Okay, I've just bumped into one of the performers that's come off stage. You've bumped into two of the performers? Two. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know this guy. Oh, you know him? Hi, guys. So what's your name and tell me a bit about yourself. Okay, my, jo my name's Justin Nye. Um, I'm from Manchester, born and bred. Um, and I sing a lot of Motown, soul and R&B for a long period of time. So you just come off stage, how's that? This is... Harold. Harold. Yes, I know um, Harold from time. Uh, the Grants and... Uh, uh, I know your face. Yeah. So uh, anyway, how was that, guys? Because that was busy. 
How was that? It was fabulous. Good feeling, yeah? yeah? it's a really good feeling. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice yeah. song. Really lovely crowd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really lovely sun and lovely place. Just perfect. Just, just tell me a little bit more about the band on the wall. Okay, so we have a jam night, uh, which is an R&B like, soul, like soul night. Uh, so look for Jocelyn Knight and Natural Soul. Uh, so our next one, if I can just have a time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Our next one is on the 7th of July. 7th of July. Yep, Abandon the Wall, yeah. and we start Oh, bless you. Thank you very, very much. And that was a fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. See you guys. Right, take care. Bye. Okay, I've just come across Stefan. How's it going, Mr. Craig? Yeah. How are you doing? It's a, it's a very funny story, actually. It was before lockdown. George walked past. Um, and then he had this like a good idea to kind of create um, a festival within or an event within like the garden centre. And then he was looking for people he get he could get involved with. And then he messaged me, and like straight away I was like yes. And we were like right, we can make this happen. Where where will where will we go from here? This, this is packed out today. This is like full capacity. Yeah. Yeah. I think like I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be a little bit more wild, a bit more crazy, but. It worked out really well and I think like what's make, what makes this place so good is the people and that's what keeps the peace. I think people in the area are appreciating it. Yeah. And what's that down to? Good sound system and good engineers I'm guessing. Yeah, well definitely that I think communicating communication between like the people that are in our area, hearing what the the people outside are saying, how they're feeling about it. If people from the yellow bricks are coming in are coming in and they're like saying, Oh, could I just come in for a bit? We're like, yeah, come in, like you know what I mean? But kinda of create a dialogue with the people from the yellow bricks and see how many people wanna get involved. Yeah. Get the names down. We still like this event is Arts Council funded. So like everything has to go somewhere and it has to go back over. Right, right. Stefan, thanks for your time. No worries. I wish you every success. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Man. Okay, I've just bumped into my son's namesake, Marley. Got a lovely female, uh, Marley. Female Marley. So, Marley, tell me about yourself and why you're here. So, uh, I'm really good friends with Stefan and George that do the festival. Um, and I've been with them from the very beginning as the host of Green Island Festival. So I usually play at the forest stage uh, sometimes, I, but I always play in between all the bands on the live act stage. And what's the night you put on? So the night that I put on is called No Boundaries, um, and it's like one of the main things that we do is about having inclusive lineups. Um, so a lot of people when I first saw the night, they thought that I was going to do like a all-female-led uh, collective. But I feel like there's enough people doing that, and I was like, I've got so many good mates that I've met that are good DJs that I want to be able to put on. So for me, it's about the lineup being balanced. So what's the yeah. Special for this? Yeah. So I always come down uh, from London for this, or come up from London, should I say? So yeah, the first ever one that they did, I was here doing it, and this is the third year now. They do three every year, so I've done what nine. Yeah. And it's an amazing festival. Like. I think the boys have created something really special. And I was saying to my mum earlier, I can imagine this still being a thing in 10 years time and everybody, it being an iconic Manchester thing. So 
Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful vibe, like, it's nice that there's kids here, people of all different ages, like, I love it. Such a good day out. Marley, thanks very much for your time. Thank you Pleasure for interviewing you. me. <laughs>